right, so today I'm going to show you how to put up a mohawk. So first thing you're going to need is hairspray. Use Aquanet. Uh, it's strong, cheap. Uh, other alternatives uh, got to be glued. Also, before you put up your hair, you want to use this stuff. Neutrogena Clean Volume. It gets all the grease and everything out of your hair. You know, all you're really going to need blow dryer, hairspray and a comb. You don't need anything else. No gel, no glue, no eggs, nothing like that. So basically you're just going to comb up your hair like this. Get it pulled straight. You know, put a whole bunch of hairspray in it. Blow dry it. Move on to the next section. Keep going. And you know, finish up once you're done. But uh, it's real easy. Simple. Lots of practice. Lots of time. It was pretty quick. how to make a Liberty Spike Mohawk and what you're basically going to need is got to be glued, got to be freeze spray, blow, blow dryer, a brush, and rubber bands. 
Alright, so what you want to do now is take your rubber bands and take your hair apart, uh, brush it, make sure it's all nice and fluffy, no knots, whatever, durable. Anyway, so now you want to pre-spike it. Basically, take your rubber band, form the spike, and not too thick, not too thin, however you like it. Takes practice once you know how to do it right. Just wrap it around it for now. And you want to do that for your whole head. <clears throat> Alright, so now we you have your pre spikes all in rubber bands. This keeps it organized. I like it, it works for me, it works a lot faster. Alright, so now we can get started. Once you have the whole row, you want to start off with the hairspray first and get the base of your hair is the base, the inside. Don't forget to get inside and outside and just the base. Don't worry about the top now. Now spread it through with your fingers, whatever. Make sure it gets everywhere within the base. But that's the most important part, that's what makes it stand up. Alright, All right, so now you want to take your blow dryer, and with your scalp, make sure you're pulling it as hard as you can so your scalp actually raises up a little bit. Not enough so it hurts you, just make it tight so all the hairs are straight. So now you have the base of your hair. That's the most important part. That's what's going to keep everything else up, else up the whole time. So you want to make sure that's hard. All right. So now just hairspray the rest and repeat with all the spikes, basically. always a struggle. My hair is getting way too long, so it is a hard part. Okay, well, now you're basically done. This is the Hawk hair spray only, if you want to. Then at the end, you've got to be for the finishing touch. Just put a little bit on the spikes so they don't flake off or they stay hard all day. And basically it. but hairspray only lasts about a day or two and then it starts flaking and starts looking bad but if you want to hold it for like five six days in a row like I usually have it you just take the gel take like a palm full and just wrap it around the base and like the outside layer and do it to each spike and just rub it in let it soak everywhere in and out and then just blow dry again and then that'll basically make make it really hard the last few days but this hairspray is really durable I love this you could go mosh pits crowd surfing anything your hair does not get ruined Trust me. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, got to be. I recommend it. It's really good. 
what others say, like Elmer's Blue and Soap and mixing with water and all these weird stuff you hear about, they did use that back in the 80s, but like now they have something better that's meant for hair. Got to be, it actually has the same ingredients as Elmer's Blue, just with a few more things, like the smell. But, it's really good. And it's about $6 each. And I put my mohawk up every weekend for like three days in a row. So, I spend like 12 bucks a month on hair products. I can make about four mohawks with one bottle of hairspray. So, it's a pretty good deal. Hello! So I often style my hair in a spiky way. Because of the fact the hair grows, it's now a little bit too long for me to style it the way I want it, and a haircut is just around the corner. But before it gets a lot shorter, I would like to spike it in a different way. With putting up actual spikes. And I thought it would be fun if I showed you how to do it. Cause in the end, it's not really that hard. And cause it would look really awesome as a time lapse. So first off you need to keep in mind that the shorter hair you got, the more spikes it has to be made into. And that is almost completely for the looks, cause it's gonna be hard at making thicker spikes look good out of shorter hair. If you have a little bit longer hair though, it doesn't really matter. Second off is that you're gonna need 4 slash 5 of the following. A tight comb, strong hairspray, and don't use wax or that stuff, cause that's only gonna weigh your hair down. Blow dryer. A mirror with either a little one besides or one with side mirrors. Cause you simply need to see your whole head. And if you have curl or waves in your hair, you can also use a straightener. Now the third and final thing. It's not that you smell bad, but you should probably take a shower. Cause your hair, at least what I found, will style a little bit better if it's clean. So I'll jump in the shower right now. Ooh. I need a serious haircut. And because my hair is a little bit wavy, I'm going to flatten it with a straightener. Now to make spikes, you really do only need to know one thing. And that is how to make one spike. So you take a portion of your hair that you want to make a spike out of. And if your hair is extremely puffy like mine, you can always take something to set it up with. Then you take a comb and back comb it. And now it should pretty much stand up on its own. Next you take your hairspray and you spray the bottom. Smear it out. Now grab and pull your scalp a little bit and blow it till it gets hard. And don't make any fun jokes now. So next you spray the top. Work that in and blow it dry. And there we go. That's how to make one spike. Now I suggest that you make a mohawk out of this just so you have a center line to work from. And when you get to the back and can't see, you take your side mirrors.
And there we go. That wasn't so hard now, was it? Take your time with it and accept the fact that it just won't look the same every time you do it. I'm Tom Victor Shiron, and thanks for watching. Hello, I've been asked by some people how I do my hair. And I thought to myself, that would be a fun video to make. So here it is, how to do spiky hair. I'm your host, Tom Victor Shiron. I'm just kidding around. Now I do everything myself, all from cutting, coloring and styling. So I'm going to show you all those steps. And don't worry, it's not that hard once you get a hang of it. You'll need strong hairspray, a pair of scissors, a mirror with either a little one besides or one with side mirrors. Because you simply need to see your whole head. And some optional things, which is a blow dryer, straightener and hair color. Because A, I don't want to wait for my hair to dry, B, I want my hair to be straight, and C, I really do need to color my hair. So I'm going to divide the process into three steps. First is cutting the hair, second is coloring, and that is of course optional, and third is styling. Step one, cutting your hair. To really get that shape you want, it's easier to first style your hair the way I'm going to show you later on. So now it's styled and it looks like a... Or Next is simply take your scissors and cut it to your heart's desire. And when you get to the back, you take your side mirrors. So there, it's cut. Now jump in the shower to get all that hairspray out. <sighs> there. In this step you just follow the instructions for the hair color and color away. And when you're done waiting, jump in the shower again. And your hair is in uh, whatever color you dyed it in. Step 3. Styling. So if you skip the second step, you should probably jump in the shower anyways. Just simply because your hair will style a little bit better when it's clean. And pafe. Now because I have some wigs in my hair, I'm going to make them straight with a straightener. And this is optional, by the way. And now comes the actual styling. So you take your strong hairspray and spray a little bit on the part you want to stand up. Then run your fingers through it and work it until the hairspray has hardened. Don't make any funny jokes now. Then just repeat for the rest of the hair. Spray a little and work it in. It really is as simple as that. And when you get to the back, you take your side mirrors again. Now when your hair stands on its own, you can just go over it with the hairspray and fix the little knicks. And when you feel satisfied, you can just spray all over for stability if you want to. It's not really that hard, just accept that it will look different every time you style it. I'm Tom Victor Shiron, and thanks for watching.